Morning, YouTube. Well, uh, on my Route 20 drive, uh, there's two spots that are always worried me uh, going through Chicago, going through uh, into Boston at the end. Uh, I've got a plan for Boston, um, but Chicago has always been a little bit of a worry uh, because I've, well, I've visited Chicago. I'm not going to stick around. I'm not going to really check out the city with you guys. Um, plenty of other people have done that. Uh, and I've been there. I just want to get through it. Uh, I'm more of a country guy. I'm not really a city guy. But anyway, um, right now, I've, I've been creeping up on Chicago. Like I said, I, I took a trip up to Wisconsin, you saw in the last video, and uh, came back down here. And now I'm in Elgin, or right on the edge of Elgin. Uh, and uh, I went to a Walmart, like many of them. They are, the parking lots are owned by the city, not by the, the company. So they don't allow you to camp there overnight. Uh, I checked with, uh, um, right next door to them is the Menards. Also the same thing. Uh, they don't, well, they just company policy. I checked Myers company policy, no overnight parking. Um, people at all of them said, hey, check out the old Walmart. Uh, it's closed, so you may be able to park there. I met what I think is the old Walmart. It sort of looks like it. But um, there's still, there's a, like a um, employment agency, there's a liquor store, uh, and that's about all that's left in this little plaza. Grass growing up through cracks in the parking lot, that kind of thing. So uh, I'm good here for the night. There's a Mexican restaurant next door where I can go over and have some, something to eat tonight instead of cooking. And, um, but I was going to creep up. This is basically Chicago here. And all these suburbs, uh, it's hard to tell where the borderline is. But I called, I said, I'm here. I thought I'd creep up a little closer into Addison or North Lake. Both of them have Walmarts right next to 20. Uh, both of them do not allow overnight parking. The people in Addison said I could spend a couple of hours there if I wanted, but not overnight. My plan is to get up 5 o'clock. Uh, tomorrow morning, which is Saturday, and get through Chicago. Um, because I talked to truckers and weekends, um, early in the morning, best time, not a lot of traffic, um, nobody's going into work, except for the salespeople and the stores aren't opening up for a few hours. So I plan on getting right on through it. Um, there's only about a 24 mile difference, so we're talking a 25 minute drive, because um, this is all four lane. Uh, at least through here. I'm not sure this might be four lane all the way through. Um, if so, that'll make my life really easy, but I don't think it really is. Uh, anyway, from here, I zip over to, in here to 20. When I get just past North Lake in Berkeley, 20 goes south, gets down here to Hickory Hills, the near Oak Lawn, and then cuts straight across where it gets along the lake shore, runs along the lake shore with 90. And I get into Indiana. And uh, so I'm going to take off early tomorrow morning and do this drive. I will have a time lapse. You're going to see that in a second. And um, hopefully well, that will be uh, relatively easy. I mean, I've driven through cities before. I'm not a problem with it. It's just buses and um, really bad drivers. I mean, Nomadic Fanatic just put up a video of him going to Chicago with all the idiot drivers. So, and I'll have the dash cam going. If I run into uh, some of those, you'll see them too. But uh, hopefully, it's pretty much a straight, once I get along the edge, it's a straight shot through the city. And it should be no problem, I hope. So, let's get on to the time lapse and then we'll be in Indiana and I'll uh, update you on my, uh, my experience.
survive Chicago. <laughs> it took about three hours uh, for me to get all the way through. And if you just watch the uh, time lapse and you saw where there's a part where it's looking down at the um, that down at the dashboard instead of out at the world. That's because I 20 sort of disappeared on me. I ended up on some one-way residential streets, and there was a massive uh, speed bump that I did not see until I was right on it, and it I hit it hard. Uh, front end of the bus came way up rear end came up high enough and hard enough that uh, pretty much anything in the back got rearranged. Um, think National Lampoon's vacation where they went off the thing and everybody ends up in a different seat. Yeah, that's sort of like uh, almost as bad as, or it's, that's worse, but I hit something almost that bad. Anyway, uh, I did make it through. I was going to try to stay at a... Um, state campground because I needed to uh, fill up with water and so on uh, in Indiana Dunes but they were full so I ended up driving all the way to South Bend or south of South Bend and uh, found a place called Potato Creek State Park um, it used to be farmland they're turning it back into uh, uh, reclaiming it into prairie grass and uh, woodlands and all that so sort of a cool project Anyway, I'm going to spend a couple of days here and uh, relax and then uh, get back on the road. So, see you later, YouTube. This is quite the thunderstorm I'm in. It sounds like hail, but I'm not seeing any. Well, I tell you, the, the main storm has already passed, but it's there's wind behind this thing, and the bus is rocking. 